ربها ناظرة إلى ربها ناظرة and this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us and that face has been described as ذُل جلال والإكرام the face has been described as a face of جلال and جلال means magnificence جلال means honor جلال means magnificence and إكرام means nobility Baby, you can call me a Superman. Chocho tell to take any to go Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody out there who has been subscribing to the channel. You the realest MVP. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction. And this one right here was suggested by um, Adam. You're the realest MVP man. Thank you for giving us this suggestion. And he suggested that we should go react to the first of Allah powerful, uh, merciful sound video. So without any further ado, let's get it. You shall see your Lord just as you see this full moon. You shall see your Lord. The comparison is to the people looking at the moon and the people looking at Allah. You will see your Lord just as you see this full moon. No one will be fighting. No one will be arguing to see it. Everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not Jannah. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not the things inside of Jannah. Rather, the greatest blessing of Jannah is something even more than Jannah itself. Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وَزِيَادَةً Those who do good, they shall get Al-Husna, which is the name of Jannah. They shall get Al-Husna وَزِيَادَةً And they will get more than Jannah. What could possibly be more than Jannah? Our Prophet explained this verse. He made a tafsir of this verse. And he said, when the people of Jannah have entered Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, Oh my servants, are you happy? The people of Jannah will say, Yes, O oh Allah, we are. Allah will say, Oh my servants, is there anything more that you want? The people of Jannah will say, and what could we want more than this, O oh Allah? Have you not caused us to enter this paradise? What more could we want? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift the veil, yakshiful hijab, and they will look at his face. And they will not be given anything better and more noble than the looking at his face. And this is the ziyada that the Quran talks about. This is what the Prophet said. Wahadihi ziyada. This is the thing that is more than Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, Wama tunfiquna illa ibtigha awajhillah. You're only spending your money to see the face of Allah. You're spending your money fi sabilillah to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being good to your relatives in order to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being patient. They're being patient in order to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran tells us that when we see the face of Allah, when we see the face of Allah, our faces will become bright and shining. We all know the verse. On that day, faces will be shining bright. They're going to be shining bright. Why? Because they will be looking at their Lord. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us. And that face has been described as ذُل جَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ The face has been described as a face of Jalal and Jalal means magnificence. Jalal means honor. Jalal means magnificence and Ikram means nobility. The face of Allah is a face of honor and a face of nobility. Why? Because anybody who sees that face has been honored beyond anyone else. 
anyone who sees that face has been given an honor and a nobility that no one else will possess. And that face of Allah, we will not see it in this world. Musa asked to see, but Allah said, you don't have the power. You don't have the, the power, the capability. That is something only in the next life. And a famous hadith of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari, after Isra al-Mi'raj, when the Prophet went up, and he went to a place higher than Jibreel. The Jibreel, Jibreel took him up and Jibreel said, I cannot go anymore. Now you have to go on your own. I'm not allowed beyond this point. So the process then went higher than any created being has ever been. Then he came back down. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari asked him, this hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Very beautiful hadith, very interesting hadith. Ya Rasul Allah, hal ra'ayta rabbak? Beautiful hadith. O Messenger of Allah, did you see your Lord? Did you see your Lord? And our Prophet ﷺ replied, Noor, Anna Ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? Noor, Anna Ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? What light is he talking about? What is this light? Our Prophet ﷺ explained in another hadith. He clarified in another hadith. And this hadith is reported in Abu, by Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim as well. And in it he said, Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is nur Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. By hijab we mean a covering. Allah has taken a hijab. What is that hijab? You see, for us, the hijab, the hijab covers the beauty. It covers the beauty and it envelopes the beauty. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hijab itself is beauty. And what is covered is beyond imagination. What it covers is beyond what the mind can comprehend. So our Prophet ﷺ said, Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is light. لو كشفه, if he were to lift that hijab, لأحرقت سبحات وجهه منتها إليه بصره من خلقه. The rays of light that come from Allah's face would destroy everything that it sees. The beauty, the radiance of Allah subhanahu wa taala is so powerful that the creation cannot bear to see it. So when the creation cannot bear to see it. Out of mercy for the creation, Allah has veiled Himself from us in this dunya. And what is His veil? His veil itself is light. So when our Prophet went up all the way to Isra al Mi'raj, he saw the veil of Allah. So when Abu Dhar asked him, What did you see? Did you see Allah? He said, Noor, Anna Ara. There was the light. Just the message itself is just uh, self-explanatory. I mean, the face of Allah, it's like seeing the light or something like that, you get it? But um, I think, um, I think every religion just, uh, not every, but uh, also Christianity, I think it's pretty much the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. I mean, um, the message was clear and it's just, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Self-explanatory. Um, yeah, what do you think? It, to me it wasn't that clear. I was trying to understand. Mm -hmm. So, is this person saying whatever we do at the end of the day, like our end goal is to see this person? The face of Allah. Yeah, like the face of God. I mean, uh, if you look at it clearly, Nowadays, Allah, Allah. Um, God is yeah, God is Allah. But now in, in Christianity, when you say God, people will ask you which God are you talking about? Say with that uh, capital G or with a small G? Okay, let's just use Allah this at this particular. I mean, um, everybody wants to see Allah. You get it? Everybody wants to see that. But how can you see Allah? Do you have to die so that you can see Him in heaven? Or do you have to be alive to, to see? From according to, mm -hmm. I will talk it according to this video. 
Yeah. No, yeah, we can talk according to this video well, out of the context. This thing, you just have to be good in life. Because mm -hmm. you'll still come. What mm -hmm. if you're still alive? You'll still come, yeah? If you're alive, you'll still get him. If you die and you did good, you, you get to see him. Um, what I'm really thinking is there anybody who has seen the light or the light? Can you give an example of someone? Yeah, from the Bible, yeah. Correct. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, from the Quran. I think it's the same guy as um, was it Elijah? Elijah who went to heaven with the chariots or something like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me, I feel like it's so much self-explanatory. I mean, if you um, most of the people want to see, uh, okay, there's this thing that people normally say. Most of the people want to see God, but. No, most of people want to go to heaven, but they are afraid to die. You get it? Does that mean that you have to die so that you go to heaven? Or I can be living on this earth, but I can still live in heaven? Oh. Hmm? I don't know. I'm just, that thing really eats my mind up. Because you can create your own heaven here, but does that mean that... What do you mean by you can create your own heaven? By being righteous. That's being good to people, I don't know. When you when you think about heaven, what are you thinking? Of? What I'm thinking you? of a pure place where there's no uh, See, evil. Pure place. There's no. But even if you're right here, evil. whatever the case, there's still evil going around. Yeah, that's true. So, like, most of the people want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die, which is actually the truth here. Uh, I feel. I feel. No, actually, like most of the people, even today, when I come to you, it's so telling me, are you willing to die so that you go to heaven? There's so many things to do with no. me. No, come on, if somebody comes why, to and tell why, me that. Why would someone say that? That's my thing. Uh, I mean... Why even think like that? I mean, yeah, that's a critical way of thinking, but imagine, like, you want to go to heaven, but... The, the thing the is, you don't want to die. The time will come. Of course, the time is going to come. But it's just like a way of being tested. Are you willing to die now so that you go to heaven? Of course, you want to. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Nobody wants to go to hell. But the question is, are you willing to die now so that you go to heaven? You should be ready to do anything. Okay. You get it. But most of the people are going to look at it like, ah, I've achieved a lot. If I leave this earth today, it's going to look like I'm going to, you know. I'm gonna leave things as standby and whatnot. People look so much at the material stuff and whatnot. Not everybody, but most of the people. But anyway, guys. The good thing about these um, videos we watch is you get to learn something each and every day. Yeah, it's really yeah, it's really actually vital because you keep on learning something about, especially Islam, the religion. Because I had most of the people have a different angle of how Islam is. But when you go deep and try to look at it, you'll actually find it. It's even more, uh, more. It's not confusing as other religions. You get it. But that's what you've chosen to believe. Remember the other video we watched, mm -hmm. and the guy that tried out every religion. Yeah, yeah. I've tried. According I've tried, to you, according to you, this is my understanding. Yes. Yeah, because I've tried. Yeah. I've tried some couple of religions, and I feel um, according to how they package it i mean it's it's not that confusing compared to 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 others we get it mm -hmm. but i think it's just some misconception of how people are being told out there how islam is what you want to believe and, yeah what you want to believe what and you most want to be yeah i believe it is there anything you have you want to add i was thinking about the last statement i don't know if you are still listening about seeing his face but then he's been covered in a hijab of light. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? What, what, what I can say about that is... So we never actually get to see the actual face face. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he has no face. He or she has no, he has no face. He has no face but you just see the light. But he's covered with a hijab. Um, hmm. Hijab of light. Hijab of light. I mean, we, 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 for me, okay, to my own um, understanding is beauty 
um, I believe that when when you're beautiful and when you're you have to cover yourself. I mean, <clears throat> for someone to look at you at first, someone needs to actually find your beauty, and by covering yourself, it will actually give that person more suspense to know uh, what are you hiding under the uh, under the covers. Uh, but most um, most of the times, we have um, uh, pe people doing it uh, for bad intentions. Again, maybe uh, just to cover themselves because they have done something bad or whatnot. But in the actual sense, I feel like if you see someone with a job, it doesn't actually mean that he's covering uh, his bruises and whatnot. But I feel that, uh, for me, I feel it's just beauty, you get it? It's beauty. I mean, when you open that whatever thing, you're submitting yourself to the person that you feel this is the one that needs to see all that. Just like now when you die and you, you are righteous here on earth and you're going to heaven, I think when God or Allah unveils the, unveils the covers, it's submitting to you because you are you did great and he wants to see he wants you to see who I am or something like that. Like you get it. I mean it's just the same functionality that is being used in our daily lives. I just like the way they just describe the entire thing on life for someone to explain further what it Yeah, if mean. if anybody out there who can explain further on the whole um the whole video just let us know in the comment section what do you think i uh, probably we have our own personal views and stuff like that which uh, is a it's, it's 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 a disclaimer here but if you have your own view or opinion just let us know in the comment section and we will be highly highly appreciated to see what you think anyway guys if you feel that we're actually feeling the better way just give us Thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about the face of Allah, powerful, merciful servant. And we want to thank Adam for giving us this reaction on the realest MVP. And if you have any and, and if you have more reactions, just go down on our comment section and let us know. And we're gonna do it for you. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. Last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video and peace out.